this tutorial, we will learn how to connect two bodies with the Revolut joint. So to start with, we will click a new model, we will click OK. And then we will make two bodies which we have to join first. So two bodies which we will be using will be two links, two binary links. So I click this one and in order to keep the thing smooth, I checkbox, enable checkbox of the length, width of depth. So all the links will I, I will make will be <clears throat> of the same size. So I click somewhere and I click again to finalize the orientation of this binary link. I make another link again of the same length and this time I start at the end of the first drawn click, uh, link and then I click again on some other location let's say this so these are two links formed now these two links are apparently connected to each other but in fact they are not we have to define a connection or a joint between them and the joint we were teaching uh, we are learning here is revolute joint so for that you will go to connectors and here you will be selecting create a revolute joint a revolute joint is a one degree of freedom joint which allows one degree of freedom of rotation and it constrains all other degrees of freedom so if i click it there are some options given so the first box is telling it is two bodies and one location it that is the default setting it means that i will select two bodies and then define one location where they will be connected i have another option in which i say two bodies and they are being connected at two locations and the third option is i have one location and then i have to define the direction vector okay so the simplest one is two bodies one location okay and in this uh, we will be selecting two bodies and then one location where we have to make the joint the next option is it's asking normal to grid or pick geometry feature normal to grid is the standard one or default one it means the revolution will be about an axis which is normal to the grid so this is the grid normal is towards the user or out of the screen so whenever i will make a revolute joint it will be rotating like this it will be rotating about uh, the a normal vector to the grid so first we have to pick a body then we have to second another body and then we will uh, identify where we have to make the joint so it is saying there's a, uh, on the bottom you can see the message revolute joint two bodies one location normal to grid so we have to select the first body now you have to select the red link and for selecting it you have to hover the mouse when it sh shows part 2 then you have to click it now it is clicked that's why it is asking, asking for the second body now now go to the second body click it again and now you have to identify the location where do you want to make the joint so i will make this point as the location of the joint and that joint will be out of the grid normal to the grid so I click it again and this sign uh, 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 and a circular arrow is shown. It means that the joint has been applied. <clears throat> so this is a joint applied. I can solidify this and see how it looks like. And to check it out, if the joint is working or not, you have to go to simulation. In simulation, you will click settings. In the settings, you will use the hand tool and in the hand tool you can uh, click one link to check if the connection has been made correctly you have to remove the gravity force by right clicking it and deleting it and then you can go to simulation and this wheel which is the settings of the simulation in this you can first of all make this stick body it will give you the information there should be no uh, constraints 
uh, redundant constraints and it is showing that it has one revolute join second thing you can do is you have to use the hand or drag simulation button just click it and now it is saying drag body click on the and hold on the body to drag so you have to click select one body and then drag it so i can perform the shortcut p and i see when it says part 3 i just click it and keep it clicked and you see it is not disconnected so this point is connected it is uh, showing that the revolute joint is done in the proper way so that's it for two bodies if you want to do the revolute joint for more than two bodies so you you can make another length of the same dimensions let's say i use another length like this so i have three bodies now two are already connected now i will connect this one with any of the last two so there will be one revolute joint for three bodies so i will be using revolute joint option again i will select one body and i will select the second body and then i will select the location of the joint so these are the two joints here if you go to the browse of the uh, tree browse tree you see there are one two joints so when you will click on these it will be telling you that these are the two joints and if you go to the bodies it is telling you there are three bodies and if you double click a joint it tells you which two bodies are being connected and what is the type of the joint similarly you can look for the second joint as well so this is how you can join two or more bodies using a revolute joint